So it's been mostly a series of detail projects here in the shop over the last little bit of time. And fortunately, we don't have the same sort of problems with, you know, every time you try and start a project, two or three more pop up that, uh, that take over and, and you can never get to the things that you need to get to. So it's been nice to be able to at least get in and start trying to finish up some of the detailing things. The biggest one has probably been the couch. And I know I've said that this is a finished project, but it's not quite finished yet. The tops aren't done. I did one end, and then all along the back, it's not done, there aren't any. And then I did this other one on the other end, and they look pretty, but boy, it's not done. So I cut a whole bunch of strips, and I was really careful to keep them in the same orientation and use the same type of plywood, because I wanted to line them all up so that it would look like just one continuous piece that went all along the back. And in order to do that with the different types of plywood that I had, and uh, the different grain patterns. I had to be real careful to keep all the orientation the same when I cut these things. And then I had to splice them together. And that's where all the little blue tapes are. They're splices. And then I went back and I cleaned up all those splice joints so that eventually these things would match up. And you, you would sort of hopefully give the illusion that it's just one solid piece that goes all along the back. So then I tried to line these up so that the butt joints wouldn't all fall in the same place. They would be kind of staggered, like a staggered brick pattern. And then I cut them out so I had four of these panels. These are for the back. And they should all match as they go along. It should look the same. And I started gluing up the first one. There's a total of seven of them. So this is the first of seven. And I tell you, no matter how many times I glue these things together, there's always a couple of tricks that I missed from before of how to try and get them nice and flat and straight. But this one turned out pretty good. And when I took the clamps off, um, yeah, it was nice and flat, and it seemed to do the trick, and it was ready to go on. So those are coming along really well, and at this point I think I've got three of them glued up. I'm peeking. I'm looking over here. I've got three of them glued up and a fourth one has started and that leaves me three more that I have to do from sticks on to completed boards. The next video will probably be me trying to fit those things along the backs and the side so there's a nice seamless run all along there. So that's how that's going. And over here I've got this little city diorama that sits on top of the Christmas layout. And the Christmas layout, I think I talked about that last time, is going to go down in the house. But the city layout won't be on there. The city diorama won't be on that layout. It's just for fun down here. And it's just two loops that run around and there's going to be an elevated structure that goes over the top of it. And I started running into an issue with how do I plug all these different tracks and rails into the power packs and be able to more easily switch between them. So I got myself some hobby connectors and I soldered them in so that I would have a receiving plug on my power packs, I think, and, uh, and a plug-in plug on each of my tracks. Because I've got two tracks running on that loop and then I've got the outside track that runs. So I've got three tracks I need to plug in and out depending on which power pack. So I soldered up these connectors and plugged them in so I could plug in my little double rounds. And here they are. Let's see if they work. And sure enough, look at that. They work great. First time. Okay, it wasn't the first time, but I did get it to work eventually. And I have it wired uh, the polarity different on each track. They both take power from the same power pack and I can run them at the same time. So that's pretty neat. I'm happy about that. And now when I need to remove this, I can just unplug the connector and pull the whole thing out. And it's not I'm not trying to fiddle with wires and twist them or you know put them in with a screw or something else like that. It's a lot easier.
unfinished projects. So I'm back here with the guitars. Today's unfinished project, would you look at this gorgeous beauty. A Dan Electro Coral Firefly. This unfinished project started with just the body and this is a 1960s, maybe a late 50s, Dan Electro Coral Firefly body. Original new old stock. It had never been built into a guitar. I added this neck. This neck was made in the 90s when they reissued a lot of Dan Electro guitars and uh, I was gifted it by my lovely wife along with all the other parts needed to assemble the Coral Firefly. I think the body may have been gifted as well from my lovely wife. I've put it all together, assembled it from parts available from the 60s and from the 90s. It looks pretty finished, and sure enough you can play it, but there's a couple of problems with it that make it inherently difficult to kind of deal with. And they are that the neck is not set properly. It's actually kind of tilted a little bit too much this way. So I have to go in and figure out how to put shims in there to bring it back down this way a little bit. The other problem is that these frets all along the bottom here, they're all a little bit sharp. This happens when the wood ages a little bit, it dries out and begins to shrink, and then the metal sticks out and can be sharp. This one's a nice sharp one right there. So you could catch yourself on that when you're playing it and it would be not a lot of fun. It just needs a little bit of attention as an unfinished project. Isn't it lovely? Don't you want one? I know you want one. Dang, that's a beautiful thing. Those are little detaily projects that we've got going on around here lately. Um, just going to keep at it until, until they get done. And then we'll have finished projects, and won't that be something? Uh, thanks for watching.